comparing yourself with others, but we only had like seven orders or something. About to package this mug order. There they are! Oh my gosh, I think these are gonna be amazing. You see people that are ability for me to be there for them, but it's of service to the person in front of me. morning guys so i am super super happy with how those mouse mat packaging ended up turning out i think they look so pretty i think it's just gonna help encourage people to keep the back in and maybe they can use it as an art print or something with that color theme i picked like a simplistic setting with my characters on to match that color theme and i just think it looks really really pretty i can't wait to see what they look like i did say that this year i wanted to kind of do more stories, more storytelling, explore the world of catnip a bit more and develop it a bit more. And I hope you guys can see that happening and it like coming out with the backgrounds I use from for my pins and I hope you can feel like kind of the personalities of the characters coming out because that was my goal this year was to try and build the world of catnip and I feel like my illustration style is finally getting there, which is ironic because it looks like super simplistic now compared to what it used to look like. I used to experiment with textures. I've kind of been going through a minimalism phase of my illustrations where over time I've slowly been removing details and actually it works well for the stories that I want to tell and the characters that I've got. And it took me a while to get here but I feel like I'm starting to finally enjoy my illustrations a little bit more. I've went back and forth with styles and I've tried texture, without texture, watercolour textures. But I still do love textures textures and stuff and maybe I could do exclusive prints but in terms of products and telling stories from my characters and making everything cohesive I think this minimalistic style looks really good. Anyway I'm going off track. Last studio vlog we unboxed the beautiful baby behind us this automatic heat press that was kindly gifted to us but the government here in the UK were actually offering 130% tax back on all machinery from the end of March so we decided to invest in two new tumbler machine so we can press tumblers and we have got glass tumblers on the way they're not going to be here for about 40 days because they're coming on a boat and it takes ages so they're not going to be in the sacro launch unfortunately but I thought, why not unbox it? I did mention that we were going to unbox it and then I totally forgot about it. I think you can actually print normal mugs on it, but we have this heat press. This is our big boy mug press machine that we currently use. This has been a big upgrade from what we started with. We had a really, really cheap um, eBay one that we got before. It was a black one. And then Dean wanted to get this big, massive fire press one, which is really helpful, especially if we have a lot of mug orders. We ended up getting two because we knew that if we just got one we might struggle with the order fulfillment so i'm thinking they can go here but the pastel pink and i'm really really excited i think we should do this as the heat pressing bench and then this is the mug pressing bench <laughs> oh there it is i'm so excited oh my gosh let's unbox it shall we i should have put this on the floor and lifted it out i don't know why i've done this oh i'm gonna put this on the floor <laughs> Oh, Dean, I think I might need help. Oh, no. Ah, oh, it stinks. Why? It smells like a little fishy. It's so weird. I remember my old heat press smelling like this as well. Ooh, look at this. We can do big tumbling on it. There's a little bit of inconsistency with the design here. Look at that. That logo's white. This logo's black. I wonder what went on there. Anyway, this is what the new tumble presses look like. Ta-da! And as you can see, we can do those big, tall 
tumblers but I think we're gonna just do glass, uh, glass ones this is what we got these for and then this over here is our heat pressing station where we print our mouse mats our banners oh I forgot to say so I thought I'd let you guys know that this one has been struggling to print dark colors on our pin banners so we have actually been using our original press for our darker pin banners everything else so far has been pressing absolutely perfectly all our mouse mats courses everything it has this auto heat press plate we have these like heat pad things that we have actually sandwiched underneath to try and give it a bit more pressure and that hasn't seemed to work either so if you have one of these presses please let me know in the comments how you overcame this or if you ran into this issue it's only specifically with one design we have these pin displays that we make and you can put enamel pins on them and we hand make all of these we've got loads of different designs you can customize them if you're on font and we hand press these in the studio and all the light ones like these ones are working absolutely fine but the darker ones are having an issue i did say to you guys that i would let you know if i ran into any issues and that is an issue that we've ran into so far with this i'm still happy with it so far but luckily we had another heat press otherwise that would screw us over a little bit that's just a little bit of a update with that and let's see if you can fit two in because i wonder if it can press two maybe we should experiment because this would be really handy as a first mug press yeah look it fits two in so not only can you fit two mugs in you could fit the tumblers and everything in and you can also change the pressure uh, but you need to turn it, I think, because there's a gap at the top. But it'd be interesting to try this out. I think we might experiment with one of our broken mugs. So we just plug this one in. I don't know if you can see, but it's like smoke coming off this. It absolutely stinks as well. But I think it's... But can you see? There's smoke coming off it. Do you think it's just like residue? You know, like when you get a toaster and like, yeah, it's... Yeah, it's like... Look at this. It really stinks. Slide this in. Like this. Press it down oh it's going down so i didn't have to press this green button so it's just counting down and this counter will actually be handy because as you can see there's a gap at the top where the handle is and if you've got a tumbler that you want to wrap all the way around uh, i think you have to turn it and then press it again so this actually would come in super super handy uh, to keep an eye on what stage you're at in the tumbler especially if you're printing multiple it'd be handy to then go oh we're on number two now so we need to turn it or we're just on number one so it needs turning i'll let you guys know though when we get to that stage oh it's nearly done i hope it's worked moment of truth feel it oh it's faded see this is what i mean can you it says, see it says 280 seconds ah 280 seconds this one so it has printed all the way from the top to the bottom which is good but it has got fade here, so I think this needs to go on a higher setting. Oh, anyway, so yeah, the first experiment was a bit of a waste, but I feel like I don't want to waste any mugs and any, or anything yet, or experimentation just yet, because I'm going to wait until our new tumblers come in. Do be aware that it does take a while to experiment with different presses. It always does. There's always like a lot of waste products that come out of it, so that's why we keep like smashed mugs or anything like that, um, and eventually we like send them but it's really good for like experimentation oh, good morning guys this sakura launch has been the biggest launch i've ever worked on and honestly i've been at this for months now and i didn't plan to have opportunities crop up and factor that into my account when i was designing this collection but we're having some manufacturing issues with our washi stands don't actually know if i'm gonna just upload this product launch but put them as a pre-order let me know your thoughts on that guys below if you wouldn't mind that anyway i really need to like work on my productivity and i actually seen this class on skillshare when i was searching for like classes and i just like to browse their user page because honestly their recommendations are so so good they literally recommend the perfect things for me i think it's because i've used it so often now that they know kind of their algorithm knows what i want to see and what classes i want to take so a huge thank you to skillshare for sponsoring the segment but i did want to mention this class that i found really really interesting because i love going on skillshare for all sorts of things whether i want to learn like a new skill 
or also like to help my productivity I think that's what I tend to go for at the minute I'm going on very much like the behind the scenes type of things like productivity business and it was called productivity habits that stick using time theming which I've never really heard of before so I found this really interesting it really stood out to me when I seen this on the recommendations I was like oh my gosh this is for me at the moment because I feel like my time management lately has just been rubbish I can't wait to sit down with a cup of tea and watch this class on my iPad because I could totally use some tips if you guys are interested in trying out Skillshare yourself I honestly would highly recommend it I've been a huge advocate for Skillshare over the years and they are offering the first thousand people to click in my link in the description a free trial of Skillshare so you guys can actually go and take these classes take advantage of the free trial that they're offering you guys so I'll leave that link in the description I'd love to hear from you guys as well if you've got any Skillshare classes that you think that I could benefit from a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring the studio vlog and always being a great supporter of this channel I really do love them I hope you find it very helpful anyway now I am actually doing an editing admin day and I'm also working on some campaigns as well so I am going to get to work on that and it's going to be pretty boring because I'm pretty much sat at this desk all day so I'll see you in a little bit Ginger and spice moss mat. Oh, it's nice and warm on my hands. My hands are so cold. <laughs> ah, Prince so cute. Good morning, guys. So, uh, we had a really nice morning this morning. It's such a nice day. It's making me so happy that it's finally spring. We have just finished making up products. Dean's been prepping it all for me using the new heat press. And I'm going to get to work on packaging some orders. So, if I'm being totally honest, it's great to see these like aesthetic videos and stuff. But we are entering a really quiet period. This year has been tough, and last year, and the year before actually, has been really, really tough for small businesses. We are in an economic crisis there's a recession and I have noticed tons and tons of TikTok social media content online about small businesses who are struggling and failing and I just want you guys to know because I think it's easy to get caught in that comparison trap where you're watching other people on YouTube and it feels like everything's going well for them it's not always the case today I'm packaging orders simply because we haven't had enough orders to um, have Mike in this week which happens he's came in on Monday but we only had like seven orders or something which to some people might sound like a lot but to us seeing as though we run like a studio and we've got staff it gets worrying sometimes I'm not gonna lie I am hoping that when we get our new website I'll be able to to experiment with paid marketing but at the end of the day a lot of what I sell is kind of a luxury item I know that obviously this type of art item is going to be the lowest during a recession it's like going to be the lowest thing that people buy so I'm just trying to navigate that as a small business owner myself I, I just don't want you to watch these vlogs and think that everything is like you know smooth sailing we get tons and tons of orders because we don't I often do find myself comparing myself to others especially when I'm in these times Times and I pretty much go through this time once a month as a small business owner any small business owner can probably relate where I think that's it everything's gonna have to be packed away I'm gonna have to move back into my small bedroom and to be honest I love catnip so much that I would do anything to like make it work even if it meant moving back home but at the moment luckily we're not in that stage yet I luckily have you guys here on YouTube and I've got Patreon but if I didn't diversify my income the way I did I definitely would struggle with just the Etsy store alone and I wanted to kind of share that with you guys if you were thinking of opening an Etsy business you weren't kind of like comparing yourself with others but obviously as you grow uh, it does get a little bit more financially tricky because you've got more outgoings and more things going out anyway I'm gonna pack some orders I know that a lot of you guys like watching these segments so let's get together and pack a couple of orders together shall we I'm gonna listen to Diary of the CEO while I package some orders. I'm so tall in these Doc Martens, I'm gonna to have to take my shoes off. 
take my shoes off and now I'm all cosy. So satisfying. is a perfect package. No, that's good if it's a couple one. It's good. We just need a better label. Let me show the vlog. So Dean was just showing me that I was just about to package this Mogada. We use these smash proof boxes for our Mogadas and we wrap them in tissue. But on Baby Blue, we do couples mugs, so my second uh, business. And Dean just ordered these, which I think is a great idea because before we used to have two separate boxes. But a lot of people 
buy these as wedding gifts and I do want a wedding set of mugs with ginger and spice in catnip but this way both of them fit in and then we put like a baby blue label over the top oh it's a bit tight though isn't it but that's what you want for a smash proof box and then you seal it just over the top there how good's that there you go Dean now let's get back to work on packaging this mug order <laughs> just finished packing up a couple of orders Dean has done all the labels so we're going to take these downstairs because we get our post collected by Royal Mail but we've got an exciting delivery what do I need Dean? Paperwork. Paperwork? Oh the paperwork was a manifestation but we've just got exciting news that our delivery of mouse mats has arrived oh my goodness I literally cannot wait for this I've been looking forward to seeing these mouse mats for the longest time. So let's go downstairs and pick them up. Please, let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. There they are, yay. How oh. exciting. Ow, oh, Ben doesn't go straight. Come on then, let's unbox these. All right, here we are. Moment of truth, oh my gosh, please be okay. We took a big risk and just ordered a bunch of these without ordering any samples. So this is like a huge risk and could potentially be a disaster. So, oh, they come back already. That's good. I can just add a sticker to them. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I think these are going to be amazing. I wasn't expecting them to come in rolls like this, but oh Dean and Mike are going to be so buzzing because they've been asking for these for such a long time. So they've come in bags already, which is really handy. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, I should have rolled them up the other way. Oh my goodness, it's so vibrant. Oh my God, how have they got it that vibrant? It looks like I'm looking at a screen. Oh, that looks amazing. Dean, come and have a look at this. Ta-da. A massive gaming mouse mat. Someone asked if these seams would rub on your wrist, but they're really flat. This is so soft. Look how, oh my, I can't actually believe how vibrant the colours are all right at the minute i'm using this little heart mouse mat uh that we print but now this might be too big for my desk actually i think it is oh does it just fit oh look how cute it is though this can probably go back a bit yeah maybe just a little bit oh look oh my goodness i can't believe it doesn't this look so much better in real life Look at this, ta-da! I feel like it'll look really great in like a white desk, yeah. Oh, oh, I wish I had this desk back. Maybe I'll swap with Dean so I can use this. Excuse it for not being the most aesthetic desk ever, but doesn't this just like make the desk look so colorful? Like imagine some flowers, like or a plant. Oh. I love it! The way I designed it as well, I designed it so Bumble Butt looked down on the keyboard and I put kind of just like an area here that wasn't like, you know, like having, having any characters on just so your keyboard could go here, more like a background. And then I did the snowdrops at the bottom like this and then the cottage is where your mouse would go but Froggo is just down here in the bottom corner so when I illustrated it I kept that in mind like the position of the mouse mat. I've just propped it over here as well which has a slightly more aesthetic keyboard and it looks so so pretty look at Bumblebutt peeking out the top oh the quality is so good I can't actually believe it what do you guys think do you love it?
Oh my goodness, I cannot actually believe how well these mouse mats have turned out. They have actually turned out so much better than what I actually planned. I totally forgot to end that clip and I just got really overexcited. I've already used like three across the studio. I want to take one home. Mike has one now. My brother wants one. So I've already like got rid of loads and I only ordered a hundred in. But hopefully that will be enough for the launch. But I don't know. I don't know if they're going to sell out or what. But this... It's got me so excited because I was talking to my brother and we were getting excited about these because I think it can just dress up your desk and I don't know if anyone else follows anything like this but on TikTok I follow a lot of these like ASMR unboxing videos and I also love a good desk setup, aesthetic desk look tour and I love seeing these long desk mats because you can totally change the theme of your desk and I'm a seasoned type of person as you probably know if you've been existing at Catnip I love the seasons, I love dressing the studio, my calendar, my art prints and changing them up for the season seasons to get me in the mood and I was just having all these ideas like I'd love a little Halloween one a purple uh, theme with graveyard and Bartholomew and Marshy uh, Bartholomew is about a Marshy as Dracula like running around and I could switch it up for a spooky theme on my desk and I could do autumn pumpkins and I've just got all these ideas but obviously I need the cash flow to be able to do it so and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about these new mouse mats I'll see you very soon Bye, thanks so much for watching I love you Goodbye!